We are the lead partner in the FASTER project and our role primarily is to uh, facilitate uh, and enable the partners across the three jurisdictions in terms of implementation and to make sure that the uh, project meets its outputs according to the rules and regulations of the EU Interreg 5A funding. The FASTER project is delivering 75 rapid chargers across the three project areas. So it will just mean that motorists can be more confident that they're going to have a charger en route at a location that suits them. It has taken a great deal of coordination and organisation between ourselves, East Border Regions, the councils, the contractors and the University of Ulster. So as project managers we've been the main point of contact throughout the project for the entire project team. So we have worked hard with project partners in ensuring that all aspects of the project has been delivered um, on time and within budget. The EV infrastructure that the FASTA project has brought is critical uh, to the drivers in both Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. It allows them more access and hopefully from this project the increase of EV will be across both regions. I think it'll have a big impact, especially for the three councils involved. Um, it's no secret that Northern Ireland are falling way behind in their EV charging infrastructure and there's so many more EVs on the road now. Um, so this will be a big boost to the three council areas and also to the local communities who are using them. You know, a couple of the sites have 180 kilowatt chargers installed, which will benefit the communities and also anybody travelling through who needs a quick charge. The benefit of these chargers being installed in council car parks across the border region is it gives access to individuals who have EV chargers along national primary routes, easy access 24 hours a day. I think it's an essential piece of infrastructure that is going to benefit the people who are travelling north-south. This faster project will bring real benefits to both north and south, uh, certainly from a tourism perspective. Uh, there's always been an issue of, of EV travelling up to the north and the underserved market. So I think having these chargers around the border uh, is, is a great asset to both the north and the south. The impact of what we've uh, installed in Northern Ireland as charging infrastructure is huge. We've more or less doubled the amount of fast charging capacity within Northern Ireland and it was badly needed. Um, if you look at what's happening in the south of Ireland, if you look at what's happening in uh, mainland UK and across Europe, uh, there's a, a huge infrastructure being built. This is really going to bring Northern Ireland up to power. In the more kind of rural west coast of Scotland, yes there is electric vehicle charging infrastructure, but it's nowhere near as much as you would find in the central belt. So the FASTA project is working to remedy that by installing over 20 new rapid chargers across the Highlands, the Islands, Argyll and Butte, House of Hebrides and so on, to just make it that bit easier to drive an electric vehicle. The Highlands and Islands Transport Partnership, um, the main role on FASTA was to lead on procurement um, and leading to the appointment of Scottish Power for the supply and install of the chargers across the north and west of Scotland. Through the collaboration PMDC had with iTrans, we um, not only identified the locations of charging sites and ultimately had them deployed, but we developed new maintenance and procurement strategies and fed guidance into stakeholders that were not even uh, initially part of the project. I think primarily um, the biggest impact um, to come out of FASTA across the north and west of Scotland was the ability to put charges in remote and rural places. Um, they're not always prioritised for funding, um, but obviously coverage in those places is really important to make sure that everyone has the chance to transition to electric vehicles um, and decarbonise their own footprint as well. Southwest College has been responsible for the marketing and communications and stakeholder engagements for the FASTER project. So over the past two and a half years, we've been working with organisations throughout the Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland and Western Scotland to increase knowledge and awareness of electric vehicles and sustainable transport systems. So it's all about building that confidence and inspiring motorists to make the switch to electric vehicles. The learnings that Loud County Council have taken from the FASTA project is that interaction with other stakeholders is essential, particularly in the early stages. Identifying key locations close to national primary routes and secondary routes where you're going to have more vehicle interactions. Uh, liaising with ESB in particular to see what the capacity is in the network and integrating all of that to get the best outcome. 
What we found with the FASTA project is a lot of the charge points went in along the east side of Northern Ireland. Um, we've still got the centre of Northern Ireland and, and uh, right across the Derry to fulfil uh, charging infrastructure on. That's where we're going to focus and uh, we plan to work with the councils over the coming months and year to try and develop a, a further charging infrastructure across the broader Northern Ireland. The FASTA project will have a, an ongoing legacy. It's, it's spearheaded the, the introduction of, of chargers in, in the border regions and to actually be at the forefront of, of introducing EV charging and helping with the transition from internal combustion engine, I think that's a legacy that the FASTA project can live with. You know, more and more people are going to be driving EVs over the next coming years and there just isn't the infrastructure in place at the minute. So yeah, I think it will be a big boost for Northern Ireland and I hope the Faster Project kickstarts and paves the way for any other efforts in Northern Ireland and, you know, just pave the way for a greener future. We hope that the legacy of the Faster Project will obviously be the, the 75 charger installations that we've installed, also the learnings that we have um, shared among project partners, also our associate partners which have been our local authorities the learning there will, will be great um, for going forward for any future initiatives for each of the councils.